Hey guys, it's Kat. Um, so a few of you have asked me to put together a uh, list of books that I like, recommend, um, and I thought it just would be more fun to do a video blog um, of books that I like and have read, um, and as I read them to make a quick video recommending them or not rec recommending them giving my own opinion on what I think of them and what I think you would think of them. Um, so that's what it's going to be. Uh, I hope you like it. I hope this is like a cool, fun thing. Uh, it is for me. Um, so here we go. The first book I'm going to recommend. Um, Finnegan of the Rock. It's kind of pointless to show this because it's backwards. <laughs> But maybe if you're in the bookstore and you're like, oh, what does it look like? I wish I just knew what it kind of looked like. This is what it kind of looks like. Um, but if you have a Kindle, you don't have to worry about that. Just so you know, a little plug for a Kindle. Um, it is a really great book. It's by Mar Marlena Marchetta. I don't know if I said that yet or not. Uh, it is a young adult um, genre book, but it definitely leans more toward the adult side of that z genre. Um, by that, I mean that there is a lot of um, kind of gory action stuff in it. I don't, I can't remember if this one has sex in it or if it's the next book in the series. Um, so it, it, it definitely has those um, things going on in it. Uh, I would not recommend it for like a preteen or anything like that. But if you are okay with reading that kind of stuff, then awesome. You should read it because it's really good. Um, it is set in, like, a kingdom-type world. You know, there's a king and a queen and prince and princesses and, uh, a kingdom and peasants and lords and all kinds of stuff like that. So if you enjoy that type of book, then you will really enjoy this. Um, what is really great about this book, Finnegan of the Rock, is that it has some really great, um, themes going through it. And that's what, I guess that's what really makes a good book, is if you really connect with the theme that the author is trying to portray. Um, Finnegan, let me just give you a quick summary of this book. Um, Finnegan is this guy, he's a young adult male. <laughs> he, basically his kingdom has been overtaken by another kingdom, um, and, and, and now this new kingdom is corrupt and it's awful and, and the people, his people are in poverty. Um, and they're dying and there's disease and, uh, so Finnegan takes it upon himself, him and his mentor, to take the kingdom back. Um, and he's not a prince, I don't know if I said that, he's not a prince or anything like that, he's just, uh, a normal guy, um, but he, he feels like it's his duty to do that. So it's, the story is his adventure in that. Um, there's a, as far as themes go, there's a really great father-son story in this. So I would highly recommend it to men to read, um, because of that. Uh, if you really like the, um, I don't know, those kind of relationship type themes, you will really, really, really like this. Um, Finnegan's father is this, like, really great, strong leader of a man, and, um, it's about, um, Finnegan relating to his father and, and how they interact after all of this crap in their kingdom has happened. Um, so anyway... I won't go too much into that because it's really, really better if you just read it yourself. Um, there is a redemption story in it, which is awesome. Who doesn't love a redemption story? Um, and there's also a love story in it, but the love story is not like anything I've read before. It's really, really, really unique and good. Um, so, you know, you don't have to worry about running into one of those, like, love triangles that are so popular right now. Um, it's just one girl and one guy, and that's it. <laughs> um, so, I, 
think that's all I have to say about it. Um, if I had to rate it on a scale of 1 to 10, I would probably give it like a 9, an 8 or a 9, probably. Um, it would probably be helpful for me to come up with like what is a 10 to me and what is a 1 to me. So maybe in my next video I'll, I'll come up with something like that. Um, but the themes in it are great. The writing is really great. Um, I think that you will really enjoy it. If you are a person who doesn't like to start a series without the series series already being finished, I know there are a lot of you out there like that, then you are out of luck because the series is not over yet. It's not all been written yet. There are two in the series out right now, um, Finnegan of the Rock and Froy of the Exiles. Um, and if you read Finnegan of the Rock, you'll find out who uh, Froy is. So, and then that book, I'll probably do my own separate review for that book because it is also really, really great. So, if you invest in this book and reading this book, I think you're making a great investment um, for the entire series. You will not be disappointed. Um, so, that's all. That's my first review. Um, stay tuned. Let me know if you have read this book, what you think about it. If you listen to my review and decide to read it, do you agree with me? Do you not agree with me? Let me know in the comments. I would love to hear from you guys. So that's all. Talk to you later.